So tell us, what what do we need to know about Rhode Island News today.com. What's it all about? Why should somebody check it out? Okay. Um, people, you know, refer to it different ways. It can be referred to as a blog or a yep. news site. I like to say it's a digital daily news site. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of business information, hard news. We even break some stories, kind of yeah. cool. Um, as well as just, I know at Christmas time, we went, we ran every single day, something you could do for the holidays. Yes. It was like, get your Solid. holidays on. And um, so, you know, it, it's it's interesting. We're getting a, a flavor of what people want to read. We get mm -hmm. the numbers and how many times people click on it. It is digital, so it's rinewstoday.com. Awesome. And um, you, it, it goes live every morning at the wee hours of 4 a.m. when yes, I'm, it does. I'm up and pushing the buttons to make it happen. So, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, it's changed my life. And um, so people can get five daily news stories uh we kind of break some during the day as well yep um including the weather we have a weather person who gives he's a meteorologist for the awesome. airport and mm -hmm. jack donnelly and he gives us the weather along with a nice chart so the early risers we get a lot of people who read who are in the medical profession yep so we get the docs and the nurses and everybody in the hospital land that opens it up at 4 a.m and mm -hmm. takes a look at what the weather is if you had to pick your your top five forget about me if you had to pick your top five you know, most viewed types of articles in there. Yeah, I would say what we have um, we have a chef yep. who provides us with weekly recipes. That's awesome. And it's Anthony Saleme, and he's a chef and a um, uh, sort of a lifestyle coach, massage therapist. He wears all kinds of hats. Wow. And he puts on some really, really nice recipes. Um, we do some restaurant reviews. We'll be doing a little bit more of that. Um, also sports. We have a sports writer, John Cardulo, yep. um, who used to have a newspaper himself called Fielder's Choice, which is there's a huge number of adults who play softball. I mean, literally, probably thousands, I sure, want to say. Yeah. Yeah, and huge. the leagues that yeah. exist, you know, all over the all Pick over Rhode leagues. Island. Yeah. Um, and he also coaches and he refs um, a whole variety of sports. So he uh, keeps us, you know, I have to edit all of these. So I edit them. I go, John, I don't know what you're talking about, but <laughs> it's pretty good. And he gets huge numbers. And, and it was interesting. One of our, um, anytime we do anything on high school sports, which we try to do more and more about, we just featured um, a story on the CCRI girls basketball. Coach. Oh, that was a huge story. It for was you guys. huge. It was like 3000 people reading it. So it yeah. was just sort of like, that's amazing. You know, it was still taking what I wanted to do was really take a year Look at the demographics, see who's yep. reading, when they're reading, and try to tailor it to the to the needs. I think people, you know, news outlets are decreasing yes, by the are. day, mm -hmm. um, and we try to have that balance between hard news and um, soft news, and just fun things to do and see. We also have a health column every Tuesday. Um, Richard Asinoff, who's for ConvergenceRI.com, and I'm actually his copy editor. So I said to him, let's feature your, he has a health science and technology blog, and once a week we take one of those, he kind of, kind of writes at a high level, so yep. we take one and we do it for the average person to learn. I mean, health information is the number one thing that people want to read more about. Wow. Both in the news, if you look at politics, and they, they survey people about politics, yep. health care is the number one thing people are concerned about. Oh, I would about. imagine. We have a business writer, Mary um, O'Sullivan. You, yep. you probably know Mary from maybe some networking groups. She's pretty much Sounds out there. Sounds familiar, yeah. She's a business coach, used to be an executive in um, a high-tech sort of company, mm -hmm. and now she talks to people at a high level how to negotiate a raise, how to deal with your boss, ethics in the workplace, leadership, all of that.